All right, welcome back. Who do we have for race number three? Race number three will feature Chip Sube, Graham Murray, who finished in third place in last year's World Championship, Frank Renatal, and Michael Creighton. There's us look at the lineup for race number three. And let's do it. Let's send them um, to the field again and present race number three a week to us out here in Des Moines, Iowa. Go out to the next one, stars, and let's rock this place. And it was like Grandma is going to rest. That means he's going to be left right behind in the competition for a while. The other three are going to make their way towards the palm trees. And now they're at the palm trees where they have the tropical trees. And now they're going to bring down that coconut chip food. And now they're going to eat the food. And there goes Michael Creighton and Chip Survey. They're going to be battling for the lead up in the front. And who is going to get the Omni Tons for this race? It is going to be Glenn Murray who gets it. Now I'm trying desperately to get back in this one after resting at the beginning of the race. And right now number 7 is getting left behind. And number 2 is going to rest. That means number 2 will drop down the last place at the current point. As speed is number 2 in this race. We may buy number 8, who's trying to lead over the 4th of a child in 5th place. And look who took a shortcut, yep, it's Grand Melee who took a shortcut after being left behind snoozing at the beginning of the race. So now he will have command and lead. He's doing pretty well in his redemption run for the 2018 season so far this year. I do believe he's going to get win number 8 so far in his 12 races this season. No doubt about it. As number 7, we well, the next command SBS, and Frank Fanatal is going to rest, and by now it is Michael Creighton, who is trying to defend second place over Chip Survey at the current one. We passed the one minute mark sing sideways, and who got the next command SBS? It's number 8. Not much left that time, but at least I know he's leading over the fourth to a challenge at the current one. Number 2, meanwhile, is getting left behind in the competition all the way in the back. But it's number one who leads number two and seven in the dust with the next command SPS. Meanwhile, Greg Milling is surely having a great time dominating over Michael Grayson and Chip Survey. Can Michael or Chip get enough distance to make the miracle pass from Greg Milling? We'll find out soon enough. Next PS blocks to number eight as he continues to lead over the force of a child ahead of number one. Boy, point number two really needs help. And so is number seven. But the next B mess is probably going to be made by Alvin in the front. Yep, it's going to be made by Michael Clayton, that too. She's trying to make a miracle come on here. But I do believe Grand is going to hold on for an easy victory. Yep, Grand is going to get a win number eight of his 12 wishes so far in this season. As Chip Subay takes the next command speed that way went out for Grand He beats out Michael Clayton after snoozing at the beginning of the race. That way he took a shortcut and it started to be paid off. Well done. And let's find out who we're getting the next command speed And that next speed we may buy number seven. That makes it his second speed bonus to the base. Trying to lead number two and Demi all the way in the back. Michael Clayton will come in second place. And Chip Survey will come in third place. And we have just enough time for one more speed bumps on this race, and we may buy number 8. That makes a total of 4 speed bumps for number 8 on this race. And Grand Miller gets the job done once again. That's why I knew his shortcut strategy will have the upper hand this week. And there's more summer coming up, but we hear one from this.